Hi guys, I'm Gla I'm Captain Madura. Hi guys, I'm Captain Gunwell, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to talk about steampunk characters. Now as for steampunk characters, you have your useful archetypes, such as the aristocrat, the adventurer, the mechanic, the chemist, the gunslinger, the aeronaut, the aeronaut, aeronaut, and so on and so on. But that doesn't stop there. Think outside of the box. Whatever you want to be in a steampunk world, you can. In our group we, we even have a cook, or me as a captain, uh, not a pirate. I'm a smuggler, but not a pirate. We have our doctor, we have our... a writer in the group. Whatever your imagination can, can come up with, you can be it. Hell, if you want to be banker, then why not? Just put a cap on, roll up your sleeves, put some money in front of you, and a big steampunk calculator or something. Now, a steampunk pirate, that's one of the, the easiest bits. Just get some pirate clothes, get some weapons, steampunk the shit out of it, and you're a steampunk pirate. The adventurer, pretty much the same as the pirate. Only a little bit more sophisticated, like more formal wear. Then you have the chemist or the scientist. Just a long lab coat, some rubber gloves, goggles on their head, and some crazy ass weapons. And the aristocrat. Think posh, think rich, think beautiful, think sophisticated, think tea parties, and of course, the matching clothes, which are mostly not that cheap. The mechanic, that's an easy part, because there you can combine a lot of things. It's just the grease and the tools that do the trick. Like if you have a fancy waistcoat uh, and raggedy pants, some suspenders, and then just the tools, some, some old looking rusty tools and grease. Grease in your face, and you're an instant mechanic. But then of course your character needs a name. Now there are a lot of steampunk name generators if you really don't have a clue of what to pick. But for the other ones, you can just choose Victorian names. It's that simple. Find them all over the internet and combine. And just mix and match. Pick what suits you and suits your character. So in short, whenever you're looking for a steampunk persona or a new steampunk character, think outside of the box. Don't let yourself catch to the archetypes. Expand your horizon, do something you like and take a name you like. The only great tip I can give you is please first look for a character, then the clothes and the gadgets and the trinkets. Now I hope you found this a little bit useful, if you have some questions just ask them, I'll try to answer. Thank you for watching and I'd like to see you again, bye!